guys and welcome back to another movie review. So today we are reviewing Encanto, which I realize seems to be kind of controversial at this point in people debating whether or not it's better than Frozen. Hot take! I don't think it's better than Frozen, but I did enjoy it. So, I mean, second hot take, I do not think We Don't Talk About Bruno is better than Let It Go. So, I mean, fight me. I don't care. Anyway, <laughs> uh, getting that out of the way real fast and early so y'all can not waste your time. Um, so, this movie, I really didn't know what the hell to expect going in because I didn't watch a trailer for it or anything. I just knew that this is what everyone is talking about lately as far as Disney films go. Several have skimmed right past me that I didn't even watch before this one. And here we are. So I was like, you know what, let's just watch the thing, given that nobody will shut up about this movie right now. And I keep seeing screen caps, and before I'm, like, completely spoilered out to death, let's just watch the thing. So I did. I don't think I even made it five minutes in before I was sobbing like a baby. Which is how you have the, the um, the test of is it really a Disney film in my eyes? Did it make me cry? Yes, it's a Disney film. <laughs> if it didn't make me cry, then you know what? You don't count as a Disney film. You didn't pass the Disney test. You failed. Go away. That is very, very rarely ever been the case when a Disney film has not made me cry at least once. Somewhere in it. Just saying. But no, I'm a big old baby. I don't care. But, um, yeah, watching the grandfather die, like, minutes into the film. I'm having flashbacks to Finding Nemo and up over here. I'm like, did we have to go there? And I mean, as if I weren't emotional enough, did I really, truly feel that it was necessary to watch a Disney film that I have not seen before, that I do not know what happens in it? Well, at the time of the month... Apparently I did, so maybe I was more emotional during this one than I would normally be, but um, let's put it this way. I cried more times than I could count, and one of the times got so bad to where I was so inconsolable I had to pause the movie and walk away for half an hour and go like splash cold water on my face and calm down and come back. Because it hit that raw of a nerve. <laughs> to where I, like, literally could not calm down. It was like, okay, I need to step back for a little bit. Um, the main character of the movie, Mirabelle, comes from this enchanted family who all have these magical gifts that apparently their house has bestowed upon them. I don't know how, but apparently has. But she was not given one. No one really knows why, but she wasn't. But everyone else in her family all have these amazing gifts that they are just applauded for throughout the entirety of their town. And she just feels like, why wasn't I given one? Why am I not special? I still want to serve my family. I still want to make them proud, but I don't know how. And then not only does she not have a gift, but then there's a vision that she is somehow going to destroy the magic of this house and ruin everything just by existing. I felt that. I felt that. Like, oh boy. But something just... There's one particular monologue that the grandmother says at her that just every last word in it cut me to my core because it just hit such a raw nerve. That was the point where I had to walk the F away from it for a little while and come back. But that said, I still enjoyed it very much, <laughs> despite all the crying I did through the whole damn thing nonstop, pretty much. Um, the music in it is good. It's all Lin-Manuel Miranda stuff. I mean, it's good and it's catchy, but I'm sorry, I disagree with everybody claiming that it's better than Let It Go. And... I will say why. I think you all are just so burnt out on Frozen in general and on Let It Go specifically that literally any catchy Disney song at this point you are going to say is better than Let It Go just because of virtue that it's not Let It Go. <laughs> just saying. That is the vibe I am getting here. 
I still like the song. I still like the music in general from this movie. But I'm sorry, I don't feel like it's a fair comparison. They are totally different breeds of animal here. They're so different that you can't really fairly compare them. I also feel like there's definitely a vibe of probably half the people saying that kind of hate musicals in Broadway, but this is more like, I don't know if the verbiage I'm using is correct here, like Latino music is more modern and like up to date and something you'd listen to in your real life. Obviously, you're going to lean more towards that than a genre that you don't resonate with. Does that make sense? I feel like that's where at least some of the hate is coming from. But, um, I don't hate- no, I'm saying the people who are hating on Let It Go. But, um, that is just the vibe I'm getting from observing this going down in real time on social media and people just getting into it. Oh, gosh, but yeah, the whole three sisters thing, boy, it just, oh, it really hit a nerve, because I was like, I could practically tell you which one of my sisters each character would be, as well as myself, spoiler, I'm Mirabelle for being ungifted, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, that, but, um, anyways, <laughs> oh, it just hit on such a visceral level that I was not expecting. I was like, what the fuck was that, Disney? What the fuck was that? But, um, I don't know. It felt like the storyline of them having this fractured family dynamic that is basically balancing on a pin uh, to not all fall apart felt very real. But the way that it all came together in the end that did not feel so real. That just felt like, mm, that's wishful thinking. I kind of wish he had a better ending than that. But then again, I don't know what the better ending would have been. <laughs> so I don't know what I'm expecting here out of it. But I don't know. It just, the vibe of the ending felt very rushed. And it felt just non-authentic, whereas the rest of it felt so fucking real, even though obviously these are magical powers people don't actually have, but I felt like there was this whole... Oh, what is the word I'm looking for? <laughs> I'm so brain dead today, it ain't even funny. Like, is allegory the word I'm looking for? That almost like an allegory for, like, real life without being literal about it. I felt like it fit for that. But then the ending kind of threw it all out the damn window at the end and was like, <laughs> screw that, we have to give it a happy ending because Disney. It's like, oh, that was anticlimactic. Okay. They could have done better with the ending, but the rest of it was good. And like I said, I did enjoy it. And I liked the music from it. And I liked the characters in it, but just, I don't know, it felt like it was missing something. But I can't quite put my finger on what beyond something involving the ending could have been improved upon, even though I can't claim that I could do better because I don't know what exactly I was expecting in its place either. So, yeah, I know. I know. But, but I did enjoy it. And I'm sure if you have little kids, they're probably obsessed with this thing at this point. I am sure of it. But, um, I don't know. I think for me, I would rate it like... Probably a four out of five. I enjoyed it a lot. I enjoyed it a lot, but I also feel like I'm biased because there is this whole thing of Encanto versus Frozen that was just set up going into it because I keep seeing people compare it and it was like, I really don't want to compare it because it should just stand on its own, but because I've been seeing nothing but people comparing it to that ever since I learned of its existence, it was impossible for me not to keep drawing the parallels and the comparisons. So I, I'm fully aware that I do have some degree of bias here in not giving it the five when other people might have. But anyways, if it weren't for the ending, maybe I still would. I don't know. But that ending, I don't know. I don't know. I like that it has a happy ending. I just feel like there's a way they could have done that 
better. <laughs> but anyway, those are my thoughts. I, I would still recommend it if you enjoy Disney films or just want to watch something cutesy, fluffy, that does get emotional and might hit a nerve with you, too. I mean, I still recommend it, but if you can, try to avoid making the mental comparisons between Frozen and this film, because you'll probably enjoy it more if you don't. <laughs> So anyways, that is it for this one, my dudes. So as usual, you know to do. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe. Hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload. Leave comments down below. Make sure you're following my social media accounts, my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, my Instagram, my Etsy, everything and more. It's all down below. And if you'd like to get your name on the end card for a month from the time of donating, the donation link, as always, is down in the description too. Anyway, guys, till next time, see ya.